what's up my babies welcome or welcome back to another video this is crown baller in today's tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to do some diy lash extensions and i'm also going to show you guys how to safely and pain freely remove overgrown lashes so if you guys want to see how i get this super sentry seductive cat eye look make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe crown baller take one action Okay, babe, so we're gonna hop into this tutorial. I'm just gonna share with you guys the things that we're gonna be using. Firstly, we're gonna start off with a mirror, of course. We need to see what we're doing. Then I'm going to be using a spoolie, of course, to brush out the lashes. We're gonna have some tape, which is completely optional. Along with the optional is this little ring for the glue pocket. Now, you can put the glue on a flat surface if you want, but for me, it was just a little bit easier. Then we're gonna need a pair of tweezers, one for separating and the other for actually picking up and applying the lash lashes then next we're actually going to be having lashes these are lashes from vi's or vi's i did get this on amazon all of the things that i use in this video will definitely be down in the description box so make sure you guys check that out also you're going to want a fan to decrease the drying time and for the start of the show we're trying out this new glue by duo it is a dark adhesive this is my first time using this glue and i'm pretty interested to share with you guys how it actually works so let's hop into this tutorial so I didn't have any alcohol, but I'm just using some toner and a cotton pad to clean off um, all of the tools that we'll be using. These are our eyes and we don't want any extra bacteria to get in so that can cause infection, okay? So I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I remove lashes. Of course, I've looked at some YouTube videos to help me out with this. And again, disclaimer, I am in no way, shape or form a professional lash technician, okay? But I just used from YouTube University my degree <laughs> and I'm showing you guys how I am taking off these lashes. So I didn't speed this process up because I really wanted to show show you guys exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it so I literally take my straight tweezers and I pinch the very base of the last extension where mostly of my natural lashes and then I'm taking the pointed slanted tweezers and I'm going to gently pull on the base of the last extension and once you do that you're kind of like breaking up the lash glue um and breaking literally breaking it down so that it will crack off i know that sounds really bad but so that it will crack off and literally you can just easily as you guys can see that i'm doing pull off the lash extension now these are like you only have to do this if you have some lashes that are literally hanging off um some overgrown lashes as i've seen before that's the only reason you would need to do this i just wanted to kind of start on a clean slate and show you guys how i actually apply these lashes so we're getting into the application and i am taping my eyelids pulling them inward and then pulling them up this is just helping me see the outer corner of my eye easier um this is again completely optional you don't have to do this but for me i did it so i could see a little bit better next i'm just gonna shake my glue really well and then add just a small small amount in my pocket with this glue it's not like professional glue so it's not gonna dry that um quickly um but it will dry out fast just sitting out so you don't want to put a whole bunch of glue um in your little pocket or on your surface like you want to use a minimum amount because we're not putting that much on our lash right so i'm just showing you guys how i'm picking up the lashes and dipping it into the glue um the little pocket little ring pocket has like slant slices i should say like little creases on the side of them so i can wipe out the excess glue so i would dip the lash inside the glue and then i wipe off the excess that i don't need when i first start off doing my lashes i don't really separate and anything like that i literally just dip the glue the lash in the glue and then i apply it to the lashes that i can see with my bare eyes like where i don't have to move anything i can just apply them either on the top or the bottom but i'm just applying one to two lashes in each section so you guys you guys kind of see me going back and forth like from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner of my eye with the glue because it doesn't dry that fast i'm just kind of sep like trying to separate the time in which 
it gives the outer corner time to dry when I go in the inner corner and then vice versa. When I go in the inner corner, I have more time on the outer corner to apply lashes. I hope that makes sense. So while the inner corner is drying, I apply one to the outer corner. While the outer corner is drying, I apply it to the inner corner. So <laughs> that's why you guys see me going back and forth. Even though I did use the tape to lift up the outer corner, that's why um, I'm doing the method that you see me doing. You can completely, you know, go at your own pace and you can pick and choose where and what length of lash you want to apply. So where the outer corner, because I was going for a cat, cat eye, I was applying my 14th and 15s on the very end. And then in the inner corner, I was applying the nines and tens. I didn't really apply that many eights. I think I may have applied like literally a few, but for the most part, it was nines and tens that I applied in the inner corner. So in between, I use my fan to dry and brush my lashes out because again this lash is not this lash glue is not professional glue you want to make sure that you're brushing out and taking time to actually let the glue dry it does take a little while to dry which is a good thing and a bad thing because it allows you to move lashes if you've made a mistake some of the lashes when you apply them they kind of fall down you'll see me kind of adjusting my tweezers to push lashes over but it allows you to fix any mistakes that you've made so if you need to pull something off you can do that but once the glue dries it's very hard to manage so you want to make sure that if you make any mistakes you want to go back in immediately and fix it but you also don't want to put a bunch of lashes in the same area because then they could possibly like stick together when they dry so that's why i started on the outer corner and then i went in with the inner corner because i wanted to give the lashes in between some drying time. So now you guys understand. <laughs> so I'm just continuing to just build on these lashes and wherever I can find empty space, I am trying to find my natural lash and just apply some lashes in. So I'm taking my tweezers and if I see a natural lash, I go in with my tweezers, it's a little closed so I can isolate my natural lash and then I open up the tweezers so that I can fully see the natural lash and then I apply the lash extension with the glue. When it comes to dipping the glue, the lash into the glue, you don't want to put too much, but you definitely wanna make sure it is enough. So if I'm applying lashes on the bottom of my lashes, I want to make sure that the glue is on the bottom, is on the top, excuse me, is on the curved part of the lash extension. If I'm applying the lashes on the top of my la natural lash, I want to make sure that the lash glue is on the bottom curve of the lash extension. So <laughs> I hope that I'm making sense to you guys. I know I'm just kind of rambling, but I'm just trying to get out, you know, my methods and how I was kind of taught this. So I'm going in with the second eye and I, this time I taped the inner corner to pull out the inner corner so that I could see those smaller lashes. Um, I didn't really go into detail on this side because I just went into detail on the other side. Um, so I'm just kind of popping in and out with this side, but I definitely am using the same method. So overall, the lash glue, we can, I guess we can get into this review. The lash glue was okay. Um, it has been maybe like five days since I've had these lashes in and I have had a few fallouts but nothing too serious mostly in the corner of my eye where I'm like crying the most <laughs> where there's the most moisture or on the outer corners so far the glue is okay um, I wasn't a huge fan at first of this glue but I feel like once I actually shook up the glue it worked a lot better for me um before I just felt like it wasn't sticking it was also my first time when I was trying attempted to try the glue so I just kind of gave up on it because it wasn't doing what I needed to do um my normal Ardell that I use I honestly would prefer that overall for now but I'm gonna give this a few days and then I'm gonna actually use it to apply some more lashes again so I can give you guys like you know an extended review of how I like or dislike this glue um, for this look, I used um, a few eights, like I said, nine millimeter, 10, 10 millimeter, 
11 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and then on the outer, very outer corner, I use 15 millimeter. Oh, so here is pretty much the finished look. And then later in the night, I went ahead and added some more lashes. So here is the final finish look it's giving super seductive super cat eye i'm actually in love with these lashes so far no complaints for the vise lashes and i'll let you know about those in another video but thank you guys so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end of this video if you like this video and if you guys guys like these lash videos make sure you guys tell me down below in the comment section give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you babes on the next one i'm clearly lit about my lashes and i hope that you will be too Love you, babes. See you on the next one.